Hello guys, I am back. Um, I have an interesting thing to show you in this video, and it's caused me to be able to, to almost completely quit Discord, which is awesome. I even um, uninstalled Discord from my computer because uh, they're 99.9% .9 of the time I don't need to use it anymore. And the reason is this uh, program called Revolt. And um, I'm going to show you a little bit about Revolt, how to use it, the basics. But um, I'll have all these links in the chat. Uh, the homepage is revolt.chat. And um, you can read about it here. Revolt is one of the best ways to stay connected with friends. Again. Like blah, 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 just um, kind of general text. But what's really cool is Revolt is free and open source, and it's a Discord clone. Um, so it strives to have fe a bunch of features like Discord, um, so like servers and roles and stuff like that, but it's open source, and um, that's great. It um, stands for privacy... And, yeah, like, uh, Revolt's open architecture makes it easier than to build custom bots and clients for anything your heart desires. You can even make your own Revolt app if you want to, and with every single color customizable, you don't need to know how to program to make it feel like you want to. So, yeah, Revolt embraces its open source nature. It's not just one of those apps that goes open source and never really mentions it. They embrace it, as you can see up here. And some cool things that I just think are cool is part of this is actually written in Rust. I think part of the back end. Um, yeah. And uh, down here, you can actually click on this uh, GitHub icon and you can see... Uh, their code. So, I believe, so they actually split their code up into different things. So, like, um, if I, so, like, uh, they have a separate repo for Revolt. They have a repo for the back end, Vortex the voice server. Uh, Autumn the file server just um, they they split it all up which is kind of cool okay I am kind of struggling here but because um, I'm tired but uh, how do you sign up for revolt well you you want to see I'm already signed in so I don't know how I can sign out and show you but uh, if you explore the site here, you'll see a sign up button. Uh, I think if you click open web um, client, it will um, ask you to sign up or log in. And it's pretty straightforward from there. You just verify your email and stuff. Now, onto the actual app. Uh, so, let me open up Revolt here. And uh, this is not what Revolt looks like by default. I actually customized it with a custom theme and stuff. And the way you do that is through settings, appearance, and you can do it through here. And I just bound Grovebox and stuff and I have some custom CSS I borrowed from another theme. But uh, if you want to see what Revolt looks like by default, just Click this, Reset Overrides, and this is what Revolt looks like by default. I personally am not a big fan of this default look, but some people are, so uh, you can use that. I personally like the Discord look and feel, so I'm going to go back. And I actually have a repo I made full of overrides. Basically, what an override is, is it's a, a theme. So, 
Revolt has an interesting way of theming, where it's basically just a long string of JSON, and it has an, uh, a really cool way of applying it that I haven't seen before. But okay, so uh, I'll also have this repo in the description, but uh, you can just choose a, an override and copy all the text. So I'll copy that. And the way I would apply this theme is I go to settings, appearance, and I go down. And where it says uh, theme overrides, I can click to copy this if I want to save this override, but I'm not going to because I already have an override in my uh, clipboard. Now, the way you apply this is you ha you you put it in your clipboard so you copy you, you copy it with control C or control uh like control C or command C whatever you're on and then you click this and it basically reads your clipboard and imports the theme so that just imported it from my clipboard now I've got like a floating bar and stuff a floating chat field but yeah, that's just a little bit th about themes. One more thing that I will mention when it comes to themes is you can, uh, I, I may have done that a little fast, sorry. Uh, if you go to appearance and you click on discover themes, you can use other people's themes. So for example, th uh, this AU dark theme, you just click it to apply it. Or this blob fox theme, this blue dark theme, breeze theme. Uh, so you can just kind of mess around with the theming. It's really flexible. I am honestly surprised with how flexible it is. There's even like a discord theme, which is a bit broken right here, but I know how to fix that. You just have to apply the default theme. Uh, no. So, reset the overrides, because one glitch I've noticed, like a bug I've noticed, is not all things apply correctly if you don't reset the overrides um, for some things. So, like, now if I go back down to uh, Discord colors, huh, interesting, it's still not working. Anywho. Uh, on normal circumstances, this would work, and then Revolt would look a lot like Discord, which I I really like this theme. It's actually really, um, you can see that the author put a lot of effort into making it look um, exactly like Discord as much as he could, uh, which it does help that Revolt is already inspired by Discord, but I'm going to apply my theme. Um, which my theme actually uses some components from that Discord theme, as you probably can notice. Anywho, the way you make friends on Revolt. If you just want to uh, ignore this whole lengthy video, and you just want to uh, m add a friend, Revolt doesn't have hash numbers like Discord. It's a lot like other services where you have to grab a username while it's available. So like Oglo was available for me, so I grabbed it. And the way you add a friend is you go to friends, add a friend, and you just put in their username like this. No hash numbers or anything like that, just a username. And then you'd click OK and after a while they would see your friend request. And if you, uh, you'll see that you have new messages up here uh, so things with a white dot like that or whatever color it is I don't know because again I'm using a custom theme that means there is a new message that's kind of like all you need to know really to get started like to add a friend and start chatting I will also mention that uh, revolt uh, supports full markdown, so you can do some pretty cool stuff in your chat messages. Another thing 
you, you can customize your profile, so like change your profile picture and your custom status, and they're adding more like right click features and stuff to make it easier, but um, like I have a description here. One thing to note is when you change a setting, you don't get a bar that says save or reset changes like in Discord. Instead, it might be up here, like you'll see a save button, or it just saves. It's a little, a little confusing, but it's honestly not that bad. Um, and in some ways, it's actually better. So, okay, um, to change your profile stuff, you just go to profile and you scroll down a little and you have all these options. And like, for example, I want to add my YouTube channel link, for example. So, um, I'll just say, here is my YouTube channel, and I can type in the link to my YouTube channel, uh, just like this. And I can save, and bam, now it's part of my description. And, okay, what else? Uh, one thing that you will want to know is off the bat, you don't actually have this little bar that says, also don't worry, I, I don't spam, this is just my alt account that I use for testing. You don't have this emoji selection button by default. Uh, the way you get that is you go to settings and you go down to experiments. At least right now in the current version. This might change later on. But you go down to experiments and you click, you, you toggle this option um, custom emoji. And this just makes it a lot easier to select an emoji and send it. So like, uh, I'm part of this uh, Revolt server that has all these anime emojis. To create a server, it's like Discord. You just click this icon and you give it a, a name. Now, one thing I wish they'd improve is how to edit the server. Oh, and by the way, this is my official channel server. I deleted my Discord server for my YouTube and Odyssey channel because I don't want to promote Discord at all. So I made a Revolt server. So if you guys want to talk to me, uh, just hang out. Uh, I will put the link to this Revolt server in the description if you want to join and just chat. <laughs> the the community is very small right now, but hopefully you guys will make it bigger. Uh, so, oop. the way you manage the server is mainly through server settings on the right click, or through here, but um, I really wish they would change some of this, because I do know for a fact that they are messing with what I'm about to say in the nightly build and are planning to merge it with the finished build. But one thing you cannot do currently is right click a profile in your setting, uh, in your server, and assign a role. You can't do that currently and that's a little bit of a bummer, but they should add that soon. So I wouldn't um, say it'd take too long, but in server settings, you've got some interesting options. On overview, you can give it a server description, server name, custom banner, uh, and here's one of my favorite parts. In Discord, I haven't really had luck with successfully making it, so join messages, um, join messages, uh, go to the welcome channel. They always somehow end up in the chat channel. In Discord, Revolt makes it easy to change that. Revolt also lets you have user leave messages. You can also have user kicked or user banned messages, which is nice. 
here in categories, this is one of the things I don't really like. You can't right click and say create category really, or create channel, because it will Create category might work, but when I say create channel, even if I right click on a category, it creates it as an uncategorized channel, which is a little annoying. You also can't remove channels through there, to my knowledge. You have to do it all through here if you want the full experience. Or actually, it's the other way around. For some reason in here, you can't remove channels, which is a little infuriating. Um, needless to say. Okay, roles. This is where you can create a role. So like I can create a new role and call it the mighty Oglo, for example. And I can give the role a rank. The lower the number, the higher the rank. This is like which role is on top of the other if you say hoist role, meaning display this role separately from online users. Uh, so like if this is rank one, it will be the top role. If another role is rank two, it'll be below this role. So I'm just gonna give it a color. I'll choose this color. Actually, my profile picture is bluish. Uh, let's see, what's a good color? This could work. So, um, yeah, you know, I can just create roles, assign them to myself, and right, the annoying part, currently, this should change in the future, but currently I have to go down to members in the server settings to apply it, so um, I go to roles to create the role, then I go back and go to members and click on the member I want to apply the role to, and then I just click on the role and click save. And now, yeah, the mighty Oglo. Uh, so, yeah, that's roles. Uh, there's more you can do with them, but it's kind of self-explanatory and it's similar to Discord. Uh, channel permissions and channel settings. Uh, you just right click on the channel and go to channel settings. And this is where you can change like the channel description. And you can change the permissions for different roles. Uh, default role, um, if you set something for the default role, like for example, default role cannot view channel. Unless you say that all the other roles can view channel, all the other roles will fall back to the default role. So like, if the mighty Oglo is set on this square for a uh, view channel, if default is set on the X, the mighty Oglo cannot see uh, the channel. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, let's see, is there anything else I'm missing? Right, emojis. This is where you can upload custom emojis. Invites. This is where you can create invites and send them out. And like if you want to make the invite invalid so no one can use that link, you just click the X, I'm assuming, to uh, uh, remove it. And then uh, bans. This is where you can see your bans. So like... Let me ban my test account, I guess. How, how would I do that? I think... Weirdo. Huh. Uh, let's see. Do I have to right click? Yeah, okay. So I'd right click and then I could ban kick the user. You know, stuff like that. Um... And if you want to join the official Revolt server, Revolt Lounge, for like help and suggesting new features and stuff, uh, you can go down in your settings, down to Feedback. And in Feedback, you can uh, click Join the Revolt Lounge, and it will join it for you, which is quite nice. That's... Pretty much all the revolt stuff. 
Now I'm going to show you something cool. Uh, say you have a Discord server, right? And say not all of those people want to sign up for Revolt and join your Revolt version of that server. Or maybe they do, but they're never online of Revolt. They choose Discord over Revolt. Um, you can sync the messages between your Revolt server and your Discord server. So Discord users and Revolt users can talk to each other. And the way you would do that is through a bot called Automod. Uh, I have Automod set up on my Simplay server, which is the video game I'm developing. So, you, so as you can see, Automod. And if I open up Discord in my web browser, so discord.com slash app, I can... Uh, so once this loads up, I can chat uh, with people in Revolt or Discord. So if I go to the same server in Discord and I make sure I'm in the chat channel, uh, I will send a message. Uh, test. And as you see, it appears in Revolt. I believe I can also send markdown messages. So like test, and I can click this um, text thing to copy whatever is in that block, by the way. That's a cool thing that Revolt has. So yeah, as you can see, it, uh, it syncs the messages so you can talk um, with each other cross-platform, which is quite cool. Um, and I thought I saw Automod also delete the message when I deleted it in Discord. I think the only one I had to delete was the block one for some reason. So, uh, okay, I'm going to show you how to sync this now. So it's, it's really simple. The way you do this is, uh, I will create a new server, for example. Um, and I will just call it Oglo the Nerd. And actually, no, I'll just call it test because I don't want to. So, um, all right, here's the test server. And I'm going to go back to Revolt and create a test server. Now, the way you'd sync this is first go to Revolt and go down to uh, Discover Revolt. This is kind of above Settings, so Discover Revolt. And this is where you can discover servers and themes, but you can also discover bots. And you just click on Auto Mod. And you select a server to add it to or a group. Um, so I'm going to add it to Test. And now it should be in the test server. Yeah. Now I'm going to type in link. Uh, or no, I'm going to type in bridge help. And it's going to give me this uh, link to click on. And um, when I click on it, it will open up a portal to add... Uh, auto mod to one of my discord servers. So I'm going to add it to test and uh, I'm going to say authorize. I'm going to verify that I am a human. <sighs> Captcha. Oh my gosh. No, it's this one. I am terrible at this one. So I have to click every image with soccer. Okay. Um, so now it's authorized and it's in the server. What I have to do is like, if I go back now, I type in slash bridge and I type this in whatever revolt channel I want to sync. So I type in, um, bridge link and it gives me this ID. I want to copy it. 
Um, so you want to copy the ID. Now go back to Discord. And in the channel you want to sync in Discord, type in bridge confirm and then paste in the ID into where it asks for the ID. And now if you press enter, it should um, work. Right, it will tell you if you're missing a permission on your Revolt server or Discord server. So in this case, it's missing the masquerade um, permission, which basically what this is, is um, it's, uh, it's a permission that allows the user to change their avatar and uh, name uh, per message. Wrong server. So if I go down to the test server, I can click server settings. I can make a new role and I'll call it uh, auto mod. And in this auto mod role, and I'll just for no reason give it a rank of 20 so it's really down low. Um, it's not going to do anything because I don't have any other roles, but, um, what I want to do is go down to, um, the permissions and I want to enable masquerade. Um, I want to enable upload files. I want to enable send embeds and I want to enable send messages. I also want to enable view channel. And I want to enable, uh, I actually, yeah, that's it. So I need to enable those. And now, oops, go back to server settings. Now I will apply the auto mod role to auto mod. Um, and now it should work. So if I say test, 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 one, two, three, smiley face. Now I should see it in Discord, yeah. And um, yeah, so that worked, that worked. So now I will say something back like test, test, test. This is Discord. So now I will see this in Revolt. And yeah, that's how you bridge um, a Revolt channel with a Discord channel. Um, it's very simple. Now, uh, let's see. Anything else I need to show you? I did not script this video, so I'm kind of just doing it on the fly. Oh yeah, I also want to delete the Discord server. That's for testing because I don't want that. So I will go back. All right, I deleted the Discord test server. Now, some other things you can do are donate to Revolt, which helps because the Revolt servers run off donations. You can open the settings from here. So this is like the home page. Uh, if you click on home here, you can create a group for friends and some cool bots and stuff like that. You can discover Revolt. This is where you can discover servers and stuff and themes and bots. Uh, again, go to tester server, give feedback on revolt. That just opens up the settings thing, I assume. Yeah. Um, you can, yeah. So I don't, I don't really know what else to show you about revolt. Um, that's pretty much it. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave my revolt server if you want to come and chat. I will leave that in the, in the description. Please like, 
comment, share this video, subscribe. I am almost at a hundred subscribers and I'd really appreciate having a hundred, like, if you are the person who is at 100th subscriber, thank you so much. <laughs> 99 subscribers was giving me so much anxiety. But, um, yeah, so like, subscribe, ring the bell so you can get notifications about videos like this. This video is probably a bit of a mess, but I still think is good. I, th I think I did a good job. So like, subscribe, comment, share the video, ring the bell, follow me on Odyssey and ring the bell there. I think that's pretty much it. Also join the Revolt server once again. All the links are in the description and all of you have a nice day and peace out.